Imagine stepping into a landscape where towering mountains, striped in intense shades of red, orange, yellow, and green, give you the impression you've stepped into a fairy tale. But it's not a fairy tale or a dream, nor is it on another planet. It's right here on Earth, and these are the spectacular Rainbow Mountains in China. In this video, we'll learn how the Rainbow Mountains were formed and why they burst with so many beautiful colors. And as usual, we'll also dive a bit into the cultural heritage of this geological wonder of our planet. So whether you share my passion for travel or exploring the amazing wonders and cultures around the world, or you're fascinated by geology like I definitely am, then you're in the right place. Let's uncover together the secrets behind China's Rainbow Mountains. Hello and welcome back to Wonders of Heritage. And if you're new here, I'm Maria and in this channel we use science to understand the many wonders of our planet. And today's wonder is China's Rainbow Mountains. The Rainbow Mountains are part of the Zhangye Danxia National Geological Park, also known as Zhangye Danxia Geopark. It is located in China's northwestern Gansu province. This breathtaking park, which spans an impressive 510 square kilometers or 200 square miles, is one of the most beautiful and colorful landscapes on Earth a testament to nature's artistry. In order to understand where all these stripes of colors are coming from, let's first have a look at the geological history of Rainbow Mountains and see how China's Rainbow Mountains were formed. The Zhangye Danxia landform in China stands as a testament to the power of nature, its breathtaking beauty patiently sculpted by geological forces over millions of years. Millions of years ago, this area was a massive inland basin where layers upon layers of sand and mud had gradually been deposited. Over time, these layers were compacted into solid rocks, mainly sandstone and siltstone. Around 55 million years ago, plate tectonics started reshaping the whole area. If you want to learn how tectonic plates move and what happens at the boundaries between tectonic plates, I have this other video that explains plate tectonics. Going back to China's Rainbow Mountains, two massive tectonic plates, the Indian Plate and the Eurasian Plate, started colliding about 55 million years ago. This collision pushed the entire region upward, ultimately leading to the formation of what we now know as the Tibetan Plate. Plateau. This tectonic activity gradually lifted the horizontal rock layers that were once hidden below the surface, exposing them to the forces of nature. Once exposed, these rocks were subjected to the persistent and powerful forces of rain, wind, and temperature changes, resulting in significant weathering and erosion. Differential erosion, where softer rocks erode more quickly than harder rocks, played a key role in shaping the dramatic cliffs, steep ridges, and unique pillar-like formations we see today in the Zhangye Daixia National Park. We also talked about differential erosion when we talked about Table Mountain in Cape Town, South Africa. If you want to learn why Table Mountain is flat, I will add the link in the video description. The extraordinary landscape of Zhangye Danxia resulted from the interplay of sediment deposition, tectonic plate activity, and rock weathering over millions of years. Today, the vibrant stripes and shapes of this natural wonder of our planet captivate its visitors, transporting them into a living painting. It's hard to believe that all these colors are real, isn't it? But they really are! This is why I love the amazing natural wonders of our planet. The breathtaking colors of nature and all the landscapes are stunning in their own right. Nature doesn't need any artificial enhancements or filters to amplify its inherent beauty. 
So then, if no filters were used, where do all these colors come from? Science has the answers. The stunning color show displayed by China's Rainbow Mountains is coming from the presence of various minerals in the rock composition, each color corresponding to a specific mineral. While moving through the sandstone, groundwater acts as a carrier for tiny amounts of minerals. As water flows, these trace minerals settle into to the spaces between the sand grains. The gradual accumulation of minerals over long periods of time filled the gaps between the sand grains, eventually cementing them to form the solid, colorful layers of rocks we see today. So which minerals are responsible for creating the spectacular display of colors at Rainbow Mountains? Iron is the main culprit. Exposure to air and moisture causes iron to oxidize, much like metal rusting when it's left out into the rain. This oxidation process leads to the formation of iron oxide minerals, such as hematite, between the sandstone grains. Thus, it is the mineral hematite that is responsible for the deep red colors that dominate the landscape, giving the Rainbow Mountains their iconic fiery appearance. But red is just the beginning. The rainbow is completed by a range of other spectacular rock colors, including including yellow, orange, brown, green, and even some black staining of the sandstone rocks. All these colors are due to the presence of trace minerals in the sandstone. For instance, other iron oxide minerals, such as limonite and gothite, produce yellow, orange, and brown tones, while the shades of green come from the presence of chloride or iron silicate clays. The white and light color patches observed in the rock layers are due to the presence of carbonate minerals like calcite and dolomite, while the presence of iron sulfide will lead to a metallic yellow color. Additionally, magnetite contributes to darker or even black hues. On top of the inherent rock colors coming from the different types of minerals, sunlight can further elevate the mountain's surreal beauty. During sunrise and sunset in particular, China's Rainbow Mountains are dramatically transformed into breathtaking landscapes filled with glowing and vivid colors. Do you know of any other rainbow-colored geological formations around the world? Let me know in the comments which ones and where they are. Now that we know where the rainbow colors come from, let's explore the cultural heritage of Rainbow Mountains. But before we do that, if you're enjoying this video, please like the video and subscribe to my channel for more stories about the many wonders of our planet. I mentioned earlier that the Rainbow Mountains are part of the Jianye Danxian National Geological Park. This entire region has been recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site because of its extraordinary geological value and outstanding natural beauty. The landscape stands as a significant natural heritage site of our planet. Moreover, China Danxia offers invaluable understanding into the processes that are shaping landscapes over vast periods of time. This was perfectly exemplified by the complex geological processes that gave birth to Rainbow Mountains. Therefore, this area's significance is not limited just to its breathtaking natural beauty. It also provides a unique glimpse into the fascinating geological history of our planet. If you enjoyed this video, you might also enjoy this other video about another geological marvel of our planet, the Table Mountain in Cape Town, South Africa. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!